More details on the road rage and gunfight that left a nine-year-old girl injured, including the latest on the arrests. Good evening, I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. Take reckless driving, road rage, and add a rolling gunfight while two kids were in one of the cars. That situation left a little girl shot in the leg near Campbell and Irvington. Take a look at these men. They're facing charges in the case. Oscar Santa Maria is looking at a drive-by shooting. Police say his other brother, Carlos, was the passenger who fired at the other car. Nine on your side's Craig Smith is live near where it all happened with more. Well, first I want to tell you that we talked with a relative of that young girl, that nine-year-old, and she assures me that the girl is out of the hospital and healing up well. But what a close call and what a terrible experience. And some of you, our viewers, really have something to say to the drivers of both cars. This is the aftermath of that rolling gunfight. This SUV held a man, his girlfriend, a nine-year-old girl and an 11-year-old boy. The girl ended up shot in the leg after an argument between drivers turned into car-to-car -car shooting. Police are still deciding if they will charge the driver of this vehicle. Oscar Santa Maria is facing drive-by shooting charges. His brother Carlos has a drive-by charge and four counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. On Kagon 9's Facebook, viewers ripped into adults in both cars. Here's a sample. Senseless. Totally senseless. Yeah, that's smart. Let's get into a gunfight while driving. Traffic with a child. Both are ignorant. This father needs to be charged with child endangerment. Please, people get away with too much stupidity nowadays. Police say they are deciding if child endangerment would apply. They are also deciding if self-defense would justify the father firing at the Santa Maria brothers. Police have to determine who flashed a gun first. But attorney Louis Fidel says the law does not require you to stomp the brake and get away from the gun. If somebody pulls out a gun, especially if somebody shoots a gun at you, uh, you are justified legally in defending yourself with deadly physical force, and there is no duty to retreat. But he says in most cases, it's still the best move to break off the conflict and just get away. Now, at this point, Tucson police have not provided an identification on the father in this case. We did check the Santa Maria brothers to see if they have a, a, a record and found nothing more than traffic violations. They're 19 and 20 years old, so it's hard to tell what might be there in their juvenile record that is not so easy to access. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.